Hi, I'm Corden C, and today I am playing AI War. And uh, this game, AI War, has been on my backlog of shame for many, many years. Uh, it came out in, I think, 2009, 2010. I must have owned this game for three or four years, and I have uh, I've never played it until this week. Uh, that's because there's a Kickstarter out for a sequel, AI War 2. It's a nice little ad. They've updated the game to have the ad. And um, I thought, well, I should probably find out what the first one was like. Um, if I'm considering, which I am, the, the Kickstarter for the second. Now, when you start this up, my first thought is, wow, this is seriously old school. The way the buttons are set up and screens. Um, if you want to look up, this is... Wow, I mean, I haven't. I've got. I've been through the tutorial. By the way, the tutorial takes hours to complete, and uh, I still. I really don't know what's what's going on with all this. What do these do? I mean, and um, they've all got uh, tool tips, but it does. It does look quite old. In fact, t t to my mind, it actually looks older than the uh, the uh, seven years it, it actually is. Um, it, in its. Uh, to its uh, consideration, though, it's only been developed by a solo developer. This is one person's work. I'm guessing that person is more of a programmer than they are a artist or an artist or a, uh, or a um, UI designer, um, because I think the game is. And I, I don't mean this in a. a, a I, I, I think there's a great deal of uh, merit to this game, but uh, it is ugly. <laughs> Sorry. It's ugly, and when you actually play it, it's it's still ugly. I'm not going to start a new game because the other thing is, while the tutorial takes hours, the games themselves take even longer, I mean, uh, hours and hours and hours. So what we're going to do is load up a game I saved earlier, where something interesting is about to happen. I'm about to uh, attack a an enemy world. So the basic idea is it's a oh, <laughs> yeah, and the UI is quite clunky as well and these tool tips often get in the way and I mean sort of things like if you zoom out and then zoom in it comes back into a different spot that's really annoying okay um, so what the game is is it's a real-time strategy game you basically go through and um, build up these ships and you attack uh, other other people there can be multiple people playing or, or against the AI Here's like the map, it's quite big. I control this planet and this planet. And you can see I'm surrounded by, by uh, enemies, which is the AI. But there could be other players as well. And so you build up your units, uh, and then you go on and you attack and, and so forth. The developer also says there's a bit of tower defense in here, um, which is basically here you see a whole load of turrets around the uh, jump points to the different planets. Uh, it's not really much of a um, of a tower defense game. There is a bit. I mean, the enemy, the AI enemy, spawns uh, ships to come and attack you on a regular basis. But uh, and you set up these turrets. But that's pretty much it. I mean, so far I've just created the turrets and and leave them. And what instead you do is you just build up these massive massive forces. So this is my big uh, battle fleet that I'm building. And uh, you lead them to charge other other planets. So very much like another RTS. Although there is is an important difference here, and I think that actually makes it quite uh, quite interesting. Is that the I'll just move these over here. Is that the AI you're up against is massively more powerful than you. In fact, hugely hugely more powerful than you. Uh, if I just went out and just attacked it uh, straight away. It would absolutely smash me, just destroy me. And so the whole sort of point of the game is you're like this sort of insurgent force, and you've got to sort of slowly sneak forward and take planets, and not try to gather too much uh, AI attention, enemy attention, um, because if you get too much, they'll they'll destroy you. And that's actually this up here. How how dangerous the AI thinks you are is uh, is determined by this up here. So at the moment they think. I'm at level one, so basically they think I'm uh, 
uh, pretty unimportant and they're not sending too many forces against me and I'm just waiting for this ship to, to be built and then we'll go on attack so I'll just speed time up a bit so it gets built quicker so there's tons of things you can build these are the different as you go up uh, in rows different tech levels so these are all the ships um, all the spaceships and then there's all the little ships and then there's various other things and there are a huge number of options in this game um, I've gone through the tutorial but to be honest I still really don't know what I'm doing um, as I said the basic tactics seem to be build up a very large force go and smash the enemy how's that, uh, how's that big ship going? four minutes I need to speed that up a bit um, go and smash the enemy and then build defences so they can't um, can't come back at you so easily and then also also you know, there's, there's all the standard things like building resources so these are resource generators um, there's scouting um, there's tons of stuff like that so oh and yeah I'm one hour into this game <laughs> yeah and it's I think this game has a huge amount of potential. Alright, we're almost at the point where we're ready to attack, so I'll just slow down time again. You can speed up, you can slow down, you can pause, all the standard controls. Um, I mean, the basic basic idea is, is very like other RTSs, it's just that, that the high level with the AI, the tactics, is, is quite different. Um, and I think there's a, a very good idea here. I quite I've quite enjoyed the, the games. You have to think you have to think quite hard. You just can't like just go out and, and bash your enemy as much as you want. You have to uh, you have to be a bit more careful about it. Um, you have to sort of you know, there's, there's there's quite a lot of uh, thinking and there's quite a lot of downtime because the game runs uh, so long that uh, there's tons and tons of time to think and you can speed up and slow up time but it still still takes still takes hours that that ship must be done by now right yes so where is it spire oh I thought it was going to be bigger all right um, so that's my I think that's time let's move over to my battle fleet set up and we're going to go attack an enemy planet so you can see the battle going on and these are sort of general indications of strength these numbers here so obviously we're going to attack this one Tilly Tilly um, oh and we need to create a colony ship as well so let's do that uh, where's the colony ships where's the colony ship creator Colony ship. Okay. Just a few more missile figures. Okay. So this one here. So yeah. So I think there's a uh, there's a good game here, but the presentation is not so good, and. Um, I think that's what makes it such a great candidate for being uh, done again. To be honest, I mean that's uh, that's what you want really when you're uh, hmm. that's what you want uh, when you when you in a, in a remake. It's going to be remake. I think the basic idea again. Oh, there are my are there my ships yet? Not here yet. Am I in the right place? There we go. Uh, yeah, so I've... I am... Uh, I'd be quite looking forward to the remake. I mean, if you do this again, the basic idea, um, but just with... With like a, a better AI, I think that could work uh, very well. I mean, if you make it prettier, make it. Uh, is this battle going on? 
make the controls better. Right, well I must have won that battle, right? Um, make it a bit easier to understand because it's really hard to understand what's going on a lot of the time. Uh, if you do all that, then I think you'd have a quite quite a good game. Yeah. Um, whereas at the moment it's quite hard to it's quite hard to uh, recommend it just because the barrier to entry is so high because. Alright, so you can see up here, there's a reprisal attack, so they're going to attack um, my, my planet, so you might see, or you will see. Can we get them in time? No, we're not going to be able to get them in time. Ah, see, these pop-ups are always in the way. Are they coming? Yes. Yes, slowly. So yeah, we've got two minutes before uh, the enemy reaches the other planet. And yeah, there's going to be quite a few of them, so that's not going to necessarily go so well for me. So while we're doing that, what I'm going to do is hopefully there's now a... this? Oh, scouts. Hmm. Take the scouts. Okay, so if we're going to take those through so we can build the next set. And then these can fly out here. And they're going to, they're going to be attacked, obviously not from particularly, so from somewhere else. So if we go back to here. So the other thing is, obviously, you can get uh, science, and this is my science. You can only get 3,000 per planet. So the other one, which I've been running for a while, yeah, I'd already got my 3,000. Uh, so here, where's my? Uh, I had a. Uh, Let's take these back, ready for the battle. These ones here can go free roaming. Okay, so now I've got my... when I've got this built, then I need to start building turrets and the like. How long have we got before they... Oh, they're already here. You can see the ships are, are coming out. And so we have to... Uh, attack. So what I've done is put my ships in free roaming mode. So... Hopefully they can... Deal with what's, what's here. Yeah, so I've dealt with the reprisal attack, and that's basically the uh, that's basically the tower defense part of it. So I don't really consider it much tower defense. I consider it uh, um, very much a case that it's a real-time strategy game. So that's that's the sort of basics of it. Um, now you can see that the AI has gone much higher, and as as I expand further and further, the AI progress will go further and further, and they'll see more of a threat. And now, so I need to start preparing by building up turrets um, for when for when they attack. Uh, there's also, I mean, there's tons and tons of other options. Where's the screen? Like, uh, all all these options. 
most of these I've set just because the tutorial told me to set them. Uh, I do not know really what they do. That's that that's the basic problem with the game. It's it looks clunky. The controls are clunky. There are so many options. I really don't know what I'm doing. I think I'd have to play this game for many, 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 many hours before I really had uh, any chance of working out what was going on. And uh, I'm probably not going to do that. If I'm going to do that, I'll spend it on the. Um, I'll spend the time on the. Uh, oh, oh, what did I do? I clicked the wrong button. And uh, I'm going to spend it probably on the second one when that comes out. So here we're building tons and tons of turrets, various turrets of various kinds. Um, and there's all these stats that are, yeah, the, the learning curve on this is, uh, learning curving on this is amazing, <laughs> amazingly steep. I mean, there's that famous picture of Eve where it, the, the learning curve is like a cliff that people um, hang themselves on. Well, I think that this is this is even more. This is even more. This is probably um, after having played for several hours, including a cup, an hour or so in the tutorial, that this is probably the most deepest game that I've ever played that I can certainly think of. And I like games like Crusader Kings. I like games like Eve, but this is this is even more than that. Um, but the basic idea is really nice. Um, the, the idea that you're not a sort of overpowered, just smash the enemy. Then instead you're like this insurgent, and you have to sneak around. Uh, I love the idea of that. Um, but this game is seriously showing its age. And I think a remake would be a great idea, so I'm going to go take another very, very close look at that Kickstarter. The link will be in the show notes. And uh, that's it. Bye.